Hello and welcome back to Starfield. It's great to have you all back. We are back. Yeah. We are finishing. I believe his name was Vladimir's quest. So we have to find Andrea, which is in Piazzi 1 or Piazzi 4. I don't really... Oh, okay. So these are areas he believes. So let's get to it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you are doing well. You may have seen the title. If, if you did, I believe it may be called the finale question mark because I may um, move away from this series as much as I enjoyed this game. I loved playing it. I don't know if it's really, you know, the series for the channel. It's not really no one watches it, frankly. So if, if you love this series like immensely and you just really, really, really don't want this series to go anywhere, I guess you're welcome to uh comment and say keep it around but if not i don't know just leave it alone i, I i've had so much fun playing this game but i'll just uh I guess, maybe i'll make a new save power up grab drive oh yeah my bad um please stop talking samuel so if if you love this series or whatever and you really want me to continue it if not i may just move on spend my time making other stuff so if you have anything you would like to see me play I don't know what I'm going to play. I've been playing a little Uber Destruction on the channel. That's been a lot of fun. I think I'm going to continue doing that. I have just no time also. So just the whole, like, if the whole idea for me, talk to Alaban Lopez. Okay. Um, The whole idea of me, like, making content is just like, we'll see. We'll see. It might just be kind of sporadic. I was, I was pretty chilling this summer for a while. I was, I was getting stuff up pretty consistent. F0 GX I may return to as well. I just hate I have to like change the the setup for the videos. Oh no. We have a we have a boy. How do I lock on again? Oh yeah, you just look. And then let's go for the engines. Okay. And then exit targeting. Right trigger, left trigger. Oh no, we don't have any of our powers powered up. I'm so bad. I'm so bad. No 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 no. No, 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 no. This is very bad. I was not paying attention at all. I was just chilling. We haven't fought anything in space yet. Like, the amount of space battles we've done in... Okay. That was really bad. That was just so bad. I was so distracted. Um, We've done, like, one space battle in this series, so I'm not gonna lie. I was a little, little out of my depths there, fighting a level 12. Either way. Okay. Locking, locking, locking. Okay, now we target lock. Target engines. Oh no, my stuff is still powered down. So I have to go... Come on, come on, come on. Put your points in the right things, you goof. Also, I just do not have enough ship points to do anything. Oh no, my shield is already offline. That's no good. Also, my engines aren't very low, but I don't really need super fast engines for this per se. Um, come on, shoot the engines, Scoof. Do I not have... Oh, I don't have any points in ballistics, but I don't have any more points to give. Like, I just... Yeah, I don't have many points. Where's he going? I am locked on, right? Oh, no, I was not locked on. Now I am. Oh, was I... Does it, like, take you off target lock? I don't know. He's he's low, actually. We might have him. Same level as me, so we're not, like, at a disadvantage here. Per se. I want to get his engines. Oh, maybe because his shields were up. I just had to get that first. We got a lot of damage there. I think we're going to get him here. Nice. Nice. Can we board this ship? Why do we have so few ship points? I'm not really sure. What's going on? What the static? Static, static, change me, static. What's going on? Yep. What do we do? Oh, okay. I have no idea what they're talking about, if I'm being completely honest. 
Did this ship drop anything that I can loot? That was kind of a crazy ship fight. Once we actually, like, powered up the right things. I will say movement isn't that important in a ship fight. It's just like a DPS... I don't know. It's very strange. I'm not very good at flying my ship, if you haven't noticed already. Not been my, uh, my strength. Are we flying into the sun? That was something I, um, kind of wanted to do. Fly into the sun in this game. Find the artifact on Piazzi 1. Find the artifact on Piazzi V, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Occupied cave. Alrighty. Huh, cool. Occupied cave. Let's land. Hope everyone is having a great one. I'm having a good one. Just got off of work. It's a little late. I'm a little tired, but you know, it's how it be. I didn't have to go to school today. School is in college. I call it college school, but it's a, a little different. Vibes are different. I don't have to like deal with high school or drama or anything like that. I just have to like listen to people talk about chemistry. I don't get how school is supposed to make you like things. I've never gone into a school classroom and walked out of it like, wow, I'm so much more like excited about this. Hey, it, it makes no sense to me. I don't know how people are like that. Maybe I'm just a, a, a sad human, but to me, it's, it's just annoying. Is this the occupied cave? Where are we? Oh yeah, the maps in this game are, um, yeah, we just have to run. I watched a review of this game today. And they summed it up so well. It's, I believe her name is Girlfriend Reviews. Great videos. They're so funny. Um, that guy looks scary. Hunting Cage Brain. Give me back my drumbeat. It's probably my favorite weapon we have. Which we got from, what was it? The Shaw Gang person? Anyway. She was talking about how, like, like, the ship just, like, doesn't put you near your objective for some reason. It just puts you, like, 500 feet away for no reason. I mean, the reason is make you fight aliens. But it's so funny that, like, can't I just, like, fly my ship there? Given, it's kind of like part of this game that you can only land in pretty specific spots. Right? Unlike, um, say, No Man's Sky, which I haven't played. But I have seen enough footage of to understand that you can, like, fly wherever you would like to. Also, someone's landing on this, like, weird moon. Is there civilization here? Seems like a weird place to be putting down your ship. But maybe that's just the, the galaxy for you, that there's always people coming and going. Occupied cave. Occupied is not promising. Occupied implies... Friends. And by friends, I mean enemies. Also, I have no weaponry also do i not have a companion currently or do i not have samuel following me around i don't think i do can i manage skills inventory ship cargo hold crew barrett heller lynn sam um can i assign you sam there are no assignments available for sam Dude, I have to, like, talk to him to have him follow me. Dang. We're not gonna have Sam. Hopefully we can take this on. Should I drop a quick save? I should probably drop a quick save. Oh, no, once we go into a new load zone, there will be a, a save anyway. So we do not have to worry about that. We're getting an artifact for Vladimir. I didn't really set up what we were doing. So we're doing the main storyline quest for... Oh. Are you sleeping? Absolutely not. Take the good stuff. Leave the rest. Hey, never mind. <laughs> I just didn't see you. Where were you, Samuel? Usually you will not shut up. In the best way possible. I've grown attached to Samuel. Oh, I, I think I was just going to keep playing this file, but I just thought about it. And I'm totally just going to start a new one in case for any reason I feel like coming back to this game. Either if like there's a DLC maybe or something. I don't want to, like, you know, move on in this series and then have some reason to be like, dang, I wish I recorded all of that. I am 23 hours in. But most of it hasn't been productive. I could I could absolutely streamline that down to, like, 
5 or 10 probably upon replaying. So I may just do that. Oh, also, we don't have our freaking flashlight on. Where where are we going? Where do you come from? Where do you go? Where are we going, Cotton Eye Joe? There was one dead miner that Sam encouraged me to loot, which is kind of out of the Sam's character. You're kind of wholesome, Sam. And it's why I've kept you around. Because I think the, the contrast of wholesome character that, like, actually, I don't know, acts like a human would somewhat and, like, wants me to be a good person and Bethesda game where it's, like, be bad, be bad, be bad. Like, Bethesda games, it's kind of like playing GTA where it's, like, it feeds into that impulse of being, like, your worst self in the best way possible. Like, to me, that is so much fun. Obviously, maybe it's not to everyone, but like when I play Skyrim, honestly, if you play Skyrim and you don't just put the buckets over every person you see's head so you can rob them blind, I don't know if we can be friends. As as much as that, I, it, yeah, it's part of my personality. I'm like, should I make that part of my, yeah, it is. Like I see this and I'm like, oh boy, can I flip it around anyway? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder. They they would not allow this to get in their game again, right? I would love to try. Should we take the pot with us? We're going to take the pot with us, guys. The pot play, if you will. A la... I, I, don't, I was like, is Northern Line my favorite YouTuber? I think so. He's like... As far as like literally just the most purest sense of the word YouTuber... He's, he's number one, man. He's he's just a classic. Absolutely a blast to watch his content. If you haven't, if you like my rambling garbage, there's I, I get it from somewhere, <laughs> essentially. Not really, but he's definitely someone I've watched an absolute load of. And I've always been like, his, he and I's brains... Not always on the same wavelength, I'd say, but in a way of like, we both could just hear ourselves talk all day and we would be perfectly happy. Um, It's not a good trait to have. I don't think that's like a likable thing. Just like, just putting that out there. If you are like me and probably Northern Lion, I don't know if he's, I think he said this before and I was like, yeah, sounds about like me as well. Um, If you're like us, Welcome to the club. Selumite. Calumite. Cal oh, Artifact Zera? Is that what it's called? Zeta? Is there 20, fi 20 fix? 26 artifacts in this game? If so, that's not that bad. Find the artifact. So we still have to find Andrea and one more artifact, correct? Cool. Should we get any of this kale, kale you might? I mean, we can pick it up. I don't know what it does. I mean, it's obviously some kind of metal alloy, but because it, it's not on the periodic table. But it usually implies like naturally incur a naturally occurring like ore of some kind or like stone i don't know what the suffix it actually means i think like stalactite stalagmite kaliumite kaliumite hail um it it looks a bit like cubic zirconium obviously without the the pyramid shapes that are very um iconic of cubic zirconium Instead, it has flat sides. I believe there are a couple a couple things that, that crystallize like that in the world. Obviously, none are coming to mind, but I'm not a geology guy. Geology is for freaking nerds. I only like chemistry. No, it's, it's all kind of the same. I live, um, I feel strongly that like chemistry is just everything. Ah, <laughs> you know what it's a it's a great question samuel 
And I don't know why, except that I saw shiny. And by shiny, I mean stuff. So this is just trash garbage. I think it's just trash garbage down here. Can I fast travel? Because I am... I, it's dark. Set course. Hey, let's go. Don't gotta... I like that. See? This game is tedious, but then at the same time. In, say, Skyrim, you're in a separate load zone. You are... Kind of screwed. Or, like, you can't fast travel until you get out in the overworld, if I remember right. I think every game needs to limit its fast travel in some ways. This game has just done it in the most tedious ways possible. <laughs> and I don't really know... It's, it's hard, right? Like, when you can fly a ship anywhere, how do you do fast travel? Also, when you physically cannot fly from one planet to another... Like, in most games, you visit it once... And then you can fast travel there, right? That's how every other Bethesda game works. Not this one. Also, we're at an abandoned mine. I didn't read, like, anything. I've kind of not been paying attention to this quest. The main quest line's boring. I think this game has... Is it Skyrimitis? Yeah, Skyrimitis. Skyrim has the worst main quest line ever, I think. Is it Ma dangerous down here? Probably, yeah, but I'm on... Uh, yeah, exactly. I'm an ex miner, Samuel, so we're okay. You're in great hands. And by great hands, I mean probably the worst hands ever because I quit, like, again, maybe 10 minutes into my first day. So, you know. Actually, no, no, like 10 hours. I pass out for most of my first day. And then I wake up and then I quit. So, I've only worked for about 10 minutes, but I did pass out. So, you've got that going for you, Sam. Also, loads of H. And by H, I mean helium. We're not talking about the other kind of H. Don't do that kind of H. You will die. Um, I mean, you can... About you? If you need me to haul some. I'm willing. No, you're Sam. Um, I was gonna say something, and I just completely forgot where I was going with it, because I was... Sam can't carry anymore. Wait, Sam, what do you have? Frontier? Frontier? Wait, I can access this from anywhere? Whoa. Let's trade gear. I wouldn't say no. Can I just put stuff straight into the... Thingy Thief? Somehow? I Somehow I can. Also, I didn't realize Sam has all this stuff. thought I took all the stuff away from you, Sam. Sam, we're in trouble then. I want to take all this helium. Later. I guess we can just go back to our ship, right? If I can find it. Doesn't help that this is the foggiest planet you can imagine. Running while encumbered is going to really drain my O2, and I imagine we're going to get into a fight. So, how do I want to do this? Because I cannot find my ship from here. Let's be real. Yeah, we're going to be going into a cave. We might not be fighting stuff, actually. See, I can't be just walking around and getting drained. But I also need this helium. Because it is boost pack fuel. So let me see if I can get to... There's no way to just go to your ship, right? You're carrying too much and can't fast travel. Bro, then let me... Oh, wait. I do know how to find my ship. It's kind of cheese, but it works, right? You just go like this. Or actually, you go like this. And you find this. And then... This will direct you to your ship. Again, it's a great game with a million tiny weirdly tedious things I think this game will be fantastic with like the right mods you have maxed out co2 further exertion will damage your health yes it will so i will stand still how exciting oh don't jump just run 
Also, we're not filling up on CO2, so we can run a little longer. And we're big chilling. And we'll make Sam give up all of his worldly possessions. And that will help us. Oh, we're not staying, Sam. Don't say hi to your quick child. Please move, Lynn. Not, oh, I hate that. I hate that so much. Like, why is A take out the first item? That seems... That seems just... Again. I can, I can just... I can keep going all day. We can have make it a bit. But I'm... Again, series might be ending. Which I'm cool with. I love this series. I would keep it going. But I don't know if anybody actually wants me to. <laughs> which is fair. Also, I, I put away my pot. Because, you know, we can't get caught with contraband. But, um, Tiss. Samuel? Ah, Samuel. No, I want to take all of your worldly possessions. Oh, wait. I can just go take all. Yes. Thank you, Sam. Yep. Yep. No, you did it again, you goof. And then I need to, like, now I need to go here. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. Oh, they start with A. That's actually kind of smart. Not smart of them. Smart of me. The smartest man alive. Also, we have a lot of books. I forgot about all our books. I don't think I need any of these right now. So let's get a couple of them put away. We do have On Origin of Species by Charles Darwin. It's pretty cool. Pretty good book, I think. I don't know. I've never actually read it. <laughs> what is... Oh my gosh. I thought I was taking all of them for a second. Is On Origin of Spe Species actually like worth reading as a normal person? Or is it one of those books that it's like worth hey. maybe talking about? Obviously, the the whole concept of being like, hey, evolution, pretty sure it's a thing. That's a pretty important book. It's pretty funny that, like, that's how stuff used to get published, right? Nowadays, stuff is published all through academic papers. Like, the world, the sci scientific world runs through through papers and journals, like Nature or whatever. But... Back then, it was just like people would write full-blown books. Running while encumbered? How am I running while encumbered? Misk? Nah. Wait, what? 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 What's what's encumbering me? Calibrated Grendel? Cutter? Oh, I don't need this. Maelstrom, I don't need that. I don't need a modified Maelstrom. I want the Bolognese. When did I get all this stuff? Space Adept Coachman? Why do I have a new one of these? Bro. I'm so confused. Sam, can I just trade with you? Any day you make it through. I don't know when I'm getting these items or if like maybe I just like didn't save one time. Oh, did I take everything from Sam? Might have just taken everything from Sam. Interesting. I don't know how I did that. Oh, I hit take all. You dummy. <laughs> how how did I take all from him? I, I don't I don't understand. Like I I I, I only pressed take all. You dang goof. We'll get rid of uh, Berserker Sidestar. Get rid of... Oh, space suits. Yeah. Give him... Give him that one. Give him a pack, maybe. Helmet. I have, I have quite a few helmets, actually. You can have that one, too. And this one. I don't know what they are. Okay. My mass is below usable. Thank goodness. I spent way too long inventory managing. My next skill point is most certainly going into 
into carrying, except oh, I might might be just saying goodbye to this character. But then I can just be a, a scumbag, which I think this game might be better as a scumbag. Like as a guy who just solves everything with violence is probably how I'm going to play my next playthrough. The one I do off camera. I'll probably literally start it after recording this video because I want to play this game. Are you a good person? Don't come any closer. I yeah! Hey, Andrea. My name's Skull, but I'm not here to hurt you. Vladimir oh, sent me. Good. I suppose I should have guessed. It has been too long since I checked in. Well, I guess making sure you were all right was a bit of an overreaction, judging by the dead body and all. You are the newest member, yes? Do they often send you to check up on other, more senior members? Weirdly? Yeah. Um, I'm just doing what I was asked, but yeah. That's kind of been my whole job. It is good that you have their trust. We waste time. We should complete our mission and then we can talk. Okay, what's our mission? Andrea's following me. I got a follower. Plus one. Is there more? I assume there's more uh, absolute friendos in here. Andrea seems armed already, so we don't have to worry about her. What 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 did I just I just aggroed onto something. Did you not see my hit marker go red? Am I tripping? I swear it did it, yeah. Huh. Maybe I can see through walls. Also, was that a computer? Yo! We haven't done Copeland's reading time in a while. Status control interface. Update friend foe settings. Remove combat inhibitors. Recalibrate friend foe settings. Protect current user. Interesting. Now can I activate them? Activating units. Is that it? You're gonna... Status active. Okay, so do we have friends now? And by friends, I mean actual friends? Oh no. Okay, just spacers. We're, we've 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 dealt with you Fulio Coolios before. Oh no. Oh no. Who's but behind me? Oh Robo. We have the robot. Okay. Let's go combat robot. Dude, combat robot. Combat robot's rad. Look at him go. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. Let's just uh, steal some, some ammo here. Reload real quick. Dude, the, the robots are just putting in the work right now. Also, I am glad that we didn't come in here over encumbered. It would have been just annoying, frankly. We're not even using a lot of stamina, though. Just kind of hanging out up top, letting the robots put in most of the work. Is it coachman time? I think it's coachman time. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, no, it's not coachman time just yet. Give me the maelstrom. Nice shooting, Tex. Did that guy just fall? Oh, thanks. Yes. They're gone. Best not to leave anything useful behind. Oh, absolutely not. That also may suggest there are some even better goodies in here, maybe. I mean, it wasn't that hard of a fight, but they do love. You know, you you feel like you accomplish something when you do a main quest line, even if you're not invested in the story. If that makes any sense. Also, the game feels very flexible and like I guess Skyrim's almost the exact same way. It's like the game's hard. There or I guess there are hard aspects. But the game just everything you do just kind of scales with your level. Oh no. Um, and so it's just kind of like, I, 
it kind of just like plays itself where it just lets you do whatever you want. That's cool. I think that's a fine way to make your game in, in 2020. Like if, if you figure that out, that's pretty cool. So many other games have asked you to do things in an order and then you, you inevitably miss something and just have to blast through it. If that makes any sense. Spacer Communication 2, by the way. Seems like we're doing another Copeland's Reading Time. Though it may read to me. Calling all spacers. There we go. You know who you are. Because that's what they call us, isn't it? The ones in charge. The ones who never... Who never respected us. The Free Star Collective, the United Colonies, even the Crimson Fleet, and the Ecliptic. They see us as leftovers, unaligned space scum, running rampant across the settled systems. You know what? Maybe they're right. But so what? We matter just as much as they do. We deserve just as much as they do. A lot of you have been all over. You've seen the empty buildings, labs, factories, whatever. They're out there, lots of them, abandoned after the colony wars. And those others, they want them. They're trying to take them. And everything inside. Are you going to let them do that? You going to let them get away with that? I'm not. I want my fair share. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to take it. I don't get, like, what? <laughs> Spacers are so weird. Dude, you're so weird. Green Neo City Formalware. Not really that useful. Oh, here we go. Weapon case. A calibrated Grendel. Oh, boy. Don't want to miss out on that one. What was this? Oh, lead. I was like, I thought there was going to be a fake rock. Wouldn't that be funny? You like go to shoot something and there's just a key under it. And it was just a fake rock. Like you don't get lead. Oh, whoops. A modified Equinox. I didn't go to the groceries. Oh, the gym. Sorry. The gym. I've never been to an Equinox, by the way. Um, you don't know. Equinox, very fancy little gym that um, is probably popular in like LA if I had to guess. It's what Kanye talks about in that uh, Life of Pablo song. I need every itch in this Equinox. I need to know right now if you're a freak or not. Great song. I always thought he was talking about a Chevy. But no, Equinox is a fancy gym, shrapnel grenade, cryo mine, fragmentation grenade. We haven't gotten into many of the explosives yet. There's, there is a lot to do. There's a lot to just do in this game. I don't know how anyone has made progress in this game. There has to be people out there like me who are just like really in the beginning and we're 20 hours in. Because if you just do what's actually interesting, it's like uh, The Witcher 3. So there's like a, a running gag, and there's a running gag I heard when the game came out, and then didn't hear when I played it briefly. I didn't get very far. But people are like, you need to leave the first area. It's so hard. You feel like you're missing out, because every side quest is so good. But the first area is like one of the worst, apparently. Which is insane, because that first area is amazing. Like, and it's the footage you see in like every video of the game. Because people don't want to spoil stuff. So you just show that first area, which is still super cool and totally gets... What? A uh, hello? What are you? Oh, I should have done this. Heat leech. Interesting. Absolutely obliterated it. But. That was pretty fun. Gosh, I keep for losing my train of thought tonight. I am not on my game. I get just, I am like dog distracted today. I'm also just tired and kind of out of it, but. What was I talking about? Something, something, something. Now I can't remember. Oh, I'm so bad. I was talking about Equinox earlier. 
I've com I'm completely lost, dude. I saw that little s the slimy guy, and he reminded me. Does am I the only one who watches? I believe the channel's the the Nautilus. Um, but it is a a underwater deep calibrated navigator pack. Interesting, Samuel. Um, they're an underwater like ROV. And they just, they just look at weird stuff underwater. And it's amazing. It's the best channel on YouTube. It's like the perfect amount of scary. For me, at least. Like, I think a lot of people watch, like, horror movies. For me, horror movies aren't scary enough. But un deep underwater animals. Now, now, that, now we're cooking. A lot of people, that's, like, pure horror. Like, that is the most terrifying thing you could possibly watch on I want to say television but anyway, it is YouTube um but to me that's a blast dude they're so cool what is there there's one and they're these these creatures that are basically like super small kind of like jellyfish type things they don't really like think on their own but they join together into like these these full blown like sea serpent looking things that are like hundreds of feet long. Just rad. Just the coolest possible things in the world. Did I get anyone with that? I don't think so. I want to get this space troublemaker. Holy smokes, he has a lot of health. I need to move to like here or something to get better shots. But I just love that channel. If you haven't watched it, I think it's called Nautilus. If not, I don't know, you can just look up underwater ROV videos or like jellyfish videos or like giant squid videos. The colossal squid or big fin squid. Ooh, big fin squid. Big, big fin squid fan, by the way. I know most people are like, that is the most horrifying animal on the planet Earth. And I think he is precious. No, I think he's horrifying, but in like the best, like actually the best way possible. Like by far one of the coolest animals on our planet. We're very lucky to have him in our presence. Or her. I love just like, there's kind of this feeling with big fin squid where everyone's just kind of like, we're not actually sure how big they are. They might be like, the size of the Empire State Building. And that just, like, wouldn't really even surprise me. It's not... Okay, maybe not that tall. But it gets... They get big, man. They are some big... Big peoples. And those little tentacles go for a long time. And they're very hard to measure because they are so thin. Their tentacles are, like, paper... Pieces of spider silk, essentially. Took out the Troublemaker, finally. The, um, this Maelstrom's great for that long-range assault. <clears throat> also, it's silence, so. Hey. Yeah, 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 whatever. Bah, bah, bah. So fun, man. Always worth checking. Never know what you might find in their pockets. I have a little tickle in my throat. <clears throat> I hate that. I hate it. When you're, like, talking. Oh. Hit a little hydration. Sarah is perfect Morgan? Sam, why are you complaining about Sarah? Before I can say, oops, she's there and very politely, ever so patiently, telling me I made a mistake. Okay, that is... <clears throat> While it's annoying, surrounding yourself with people like that, I don't know. They make you better. As, as annoying as they are. They make you better. And sometimes we just got to be, you know, as much as it hurts, as much as it's annoying, as much as they're annoying. You know, just they make you better. And you got to accept that and grow from it. And it's not easy, Sam, but I believe in you. And that was my TED talk. But I also kind of like people like that. That are like, oh, they're like... They, they correct you, and you're like, you're so right. 
And even in the moment, it is like, really, could you just have let me, like, blame the world for that one instead of, like, okay, it was my fault and it was preventable. But they, they make you better. Surround yourself with those people as, as much as they suck. Maybe don't surround yourself with those people, but don't push them away. They're more useful. They will come in handy one day. If not, as your friend, like, you can just keep them in your vicinity, you know? Just in case. Technicians? Cal? Who who goes there? Oh, they're already gone, so whatever it was, they're, they're no longer a problem. We got Caliber Caseless Chunks Chicken. Cluck, cluck. Who doesn't like loot? loot am I right? Who doesn't like loot? Sam, you're such a weird guy. I love, like, I love technicians Sarah's calibrated shock troon. It's a crazy looking piece of. Oh, shock troop space suit. No way. We got a space suit. Finally. Like, I think a decent one. <clears throat> Synapse Alpha? Boosted calibrated granite. We don't want that. Now I feel better. You guys just had that conversation. That's embarrassing. Sam, are you feeling all right? Are you running out of oxygen? You probably should be wearing oxygen. We're in a cave. Where all the people looting the cave are wearing oxygen. And I believe the cave's abandoned. And just a little something if you're ever exploring. Like a, a man-made cave that does has never been... Explored by someone not on oxygen. I don't like you two talking. Um. Uh. Because you could just walk into like a pocket. Of just like. Methane. CO2. From like a vent. Underground. Obviously you'd smell methane or whatever. But you could very very easily. Just pass out. Suffocation. And not have a good time. Like, you will, you know, not to be alive at the end of that situation, which is a bummer. So don't. Don't go into caves. Don't go into caves, period. Caves scare the crud out of me. Again, in kind of that fun way, though. Like, in the same way that the deep ocean is fun, scary. I think, like, cave rescues, failed cave rescues. <clears throat> Lots of fun. That and, um boat crashes boat crashing documentaries anyone else in the boat crash documentary you did not respond when yeah. I called to you after you pulled out the artifact it happens all the time does that mean Barrett's theory and experience were correct the artifact grants the first person who touches it a vision yes the fact that it has happened to both you and Barrett is already more than we had before I don't know why I we're... I've done this like six times. That we discuss what you saw back there. That man. That man? What I had done. I mean, we just... We just took out like 56 people together, homie. It's... It's fine. It was, yes. I appreciate that you see it that way. A very practical outlook. Not one I find is shared amongst members of Constellation. May I ask what your background is? I mean, it's not like I was a mar- uh, uh, I mean, I was a businessman. I've done all sorts of things. You prefer answers that do not require you to commit to a position. No, they just didn't let me commit to the only position. I've seen a great many things in my time. Some quite dangerous. See, we we've got something in common. Unusual additions to constellations. One, I was talking to one of my coworkers, Please, and they said you can I only you date characters the, the circumstances in constellation. I think that's kind of weird. That I don't know. Varun Zelitz have attempted. To I wish you could date more people. I want to date Phil Hill. Okay. Has happened again. But if I can't date, well. Brian David Gilbert, in game, on my own. and in real life. I would not want it to be Why did I buy the game? Even longer in the future. Do I didn't buy the understand? game. I haven't been listening at all. Um, you've got it on my mom's word. Mom, this means we are in agreement. 
Thank you. That is good to know. Okay. I will finish here and return to New Atlantis when I can. You should go now, as they will be expecting us. Absolutely. I'm about to dunk down two more artifactos. Also, where's Smamuel? Um, smack down two artifactos. And then we can hopefully get our superpowers only to possibly end the series. But if you do want it to go on, just, just comment. So, or let a like. But really, I, I think it's time. I think it's time we, we spend, spend time making content on the channel that people want to watch instead of what I want to make. Which is a bummer. But it's, it's fine. I can just keep playing this game. Nothing, nothing stopping me from playing it. So, I am perfectly happy. Also, we found some more, some more items over here that I missed the first time around, including a weapon case. Though, um, something I found is, oh, there you are, Shmamuel. Hey, good to see you. Share the wealth, right? Absolutely. R B L B. There we go. Why do I have so much mass, dude? Resource. Oh, I had 10 helium on me. Okay. Yeah, I had all sorts of goofy gaff on me. Goofy gaff. Goodbye. Sam, why are you being so weird? Also, I haven't had to go... Bro, this whole time, if I was already tracking a quest, I didn't have to go in the quest menu. I could have just pressed X from that menu. I am not good at this game. I will say, I think ending this series will, like, allow me to watch more content about this game. Maybe get some tips and tricks in. Because I will be essentially restarting. <clears throat> at least on my, my own save. I'm going to start a, a separate save where I'm a menace to society, essentially. And I'll get to, you know... You know, just do what I want to do in this game. Add, I have two. I'm jealous. I tried following up on some leads myself, but came back empty-handed. They could be anywhere, can't they? They're embedded in a rock or in the hands of an unsuspecting novelty goods trader. You got you beat. Three artifacts to zero. Which leads are you following? A couple of scans from the eye, but it looks like you got there first. Oh yeah. Shame on me for taking the scenic route, huh? Absolutely. These artifacts are something else. Just staring at the collection sometimes, wondering what it all means. Maybe that's how our ancestors felt when they were looking up at the stars for the first time. They didn't just gawk at the stars, Mateo. They explored. They tested. Science brought us to space, not daydreaming. I disagree. What's the point of science if not to enable humanity's dreams? And where do those dreams come from? Not every dream is a pleasant one. I agree with Noel. The work is what moves us forward. You're with me, right? Science or dreams? Which one is the true muse of space exploration? Science. Without it, dreams aren't possible. That's my take. Another realist has joined our ranks. I'm outnumbered. Absolutely, Mateo. Congrats, Mateo. Also, I'm Mateo most... Into another round of and blood. Sarah? Can't we agree both are important? I mean, absolutely. You know I just realized I completely overtook this whole conversation. This should be about you and Andresia celebrating a win for the group. I do not mind being asked to join in a debate. It was good to hear everyone's sides. But I do agree that we accomplished something together. Thank you for your help. No problem, and yours. I'd be happy to keep traveling with you. I have no objections. Let us see what else we can find out there. I mean, I'm keeping... Pulling some interesting data from those new artifacts. Tell the rook to me. back on board the station. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I then... Can we go back to Vlad? Do I even have to talk to Noel? No, no, we don't. Okay, sweet. Um, what was I gonna say? Well, first, it was like in that conversation we could like gotten romance points with maybe 
Mateo. Who wants a romance? If you want a romance, Mateo. You're a maniac. I'm just saying. I don't want to romance any of the characters, frankly. But, now that I know it's possible, and whenever I see those little like that's, I mean, I think I just have to marry Sam. Sam has been my ride or die for an incredibly long time. And I just can't imagine not walking around with Sam. It's probably a lot of people feel about, like, Lydia in the Skyrim. You know, that game, Skyrim. But, because Lydia was, like, my ride or die, too. Though, I had... I've talked about this. I talked about it in the last one. Freaking Ferengar, who died on me when a dragon attacked uh, Redwood, or Riverwood. And, dude, I... I th I'm pretty sure I shed a tear. I was having a pretty bad day. So, it, w it wasn't just, just him dying. But it, I I was, like, going back to find him. Like, literally going back to Redwood, or Riverwood. Just to talk to him. And I couldn't find him, and I'm running around the city. And a dragon happened to spawn. And he died. Died there. in my Not in my arms. I never even saw him. I never even found his corpse. I, like, looked for a while because I'm like, where was this guy? <laughs> Could not find him. I don't know how the dragon hit him. But he is no longer with us in that Skyrim save. Which I think was the most recent one I did on this Xbox, actually. Reversing. Um, excuse me, can I dock? Why can I never freaking figure out how to dock? It's actually so embarrassing but also just kind of like this game in a nutshell where it's like oh looking the wrong way dude i can't wait to eat soup i'm gonna eat some soup after i record this video love eating soup I bought a lot of soup the other day because i was like man i need soup i have unlimited bread also excuse me Exit scanner, photo mode. Left stick boost. Bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, It's on the freaking sides, isn't it? It's like around the edge. Anyway, I was craving soup yesterday. So I went to, like, my local grocery store to buy soup. And I bought so much freaking soup. I'm so excited. I got miso soup that I made, which was pretty good. Had that yesterday. I think I'm going to have some vegetable soup and bread for dinner tonight. I have lots of bread. Unlimited bread from work. Also, um, please can I dock? What is going on here? Can someone please explain to me how docking works in this game? I know no one freaking watches this series. But... Oh my god, it is the most annoying thing on earth. That you can't also move laterally in a spaceship, you can only move forward and backwards. So like if you want to move around an object to try to figure out how you... F you press frickin' A on it. Oh my god. Oh my god, okay. We're there. We're getting there, we're getting through this. We will survive. I'm like, should I edit it out? And I'm like, who knows if anyone's even going to make this far. I don't know if anyone's made it this to this point in, like, the past eight Starfield episodes. As much as I love making this series. Just, I don't know if there's really an audience for unedited guy now bumbling his way through Starfield. Just blips of hope in the black sea. The grab anomaly generated by one of those artifacts... It matches, it matches one. one on another planet. A bigger one. A bigger one? Now you're talking, point me at him. Doesn't make sense, artifacts are roughly similar in size. Now we're talking, right. point me at him. Let me transfer over the data. But, I need you wearing caution's boots for this one. Ah. what this thing is or why it's so large. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I think I know. Close as I can. But I'm having trouble pinpointing the source. Okay. You need to explore the area on foot. Put your scanner to work. Don't know what you'll find. Keep your eyes open. Land near the anomaly, use my scanner. Got and it. From there, 
Maybe you catch a smile and uncover the source of it all. Catch a smile. Also, how have all these caves been exposed to the air? The first one we found we had to dig into. And after that, we've gotten so lucky. Like, you, I don't think... Like, the amount of caves that connect to the surface compared to the amount of caves that don't connect to the surface is, like, staggering. Like, I would imagine only, like, a tenth of a percent of all... All things, all caves connect to the surface. But I could be wrong. Anyway... I think we're going to end it there. I thought we were going to unlock our space abilities, but we did not still. So we'll have to, I mean, if, if, if everyone's like, yo, man, you've got to keep going. I'll make episode 17 or whatever. But if not, I'd like to thank you all for watching Starfield with me. It's been a lot of fun. One of my favorite games of the year. I don't think it's going to be Tears of the Kingdom out, frankly. But I had a blast playing it. I wish I could keep going with it, but I think I think my time is better spent playing some other things. And I hope you join me for some of those other things. If you do want to check something out, we got F099 has been going on in the channel. Uber Destruction has been going on in the channel. All sorts of things for y'all to check out. So, thank you so much. I'm not going anywhere. Take care. Bye-bye.